Man, that has reviews cars, yeah? what are you saying, bro? You good, man? On, yeah, yeah, you gonna my car, what? bro. You know, I'm at reviews cars always, fam. I'm down. Yeah, no, let's go. Come on, let's go, bro. Yes, yes, you know who it is. It's as reviews cars. We're back with another video today. We've got this BMW. 5D X Drive in the Estrel Blue. Lining kit at the bottom. Onto the wheels now, you've got these rear 20 inch rims. I ain't seen these on no BMW, like hardly seen these. And you've got the M4 performance brake discs as well. Lovely touch. Tinted windows. I don't know why. Each, each, every single review I'm doing, yeah, they love their privacy. This one's fully tinted as well. And then you got this lovely side skirt with the M performance. That just shows it's got that package. As you can see, the owner keeps a lot of stuff in his boot. Um, maybe you could fit one large suitcase or maybe two small ones. He's prepared for Water gun fight. Yes, we're at that time again now, as the time everyone's waiting for. Bro, do you know what? This car's a beast, man. This is worth the drive. Start the engine, then. What's going on? Yeah. 
Yo, flex. Flex. Bro, why is the car starting? Shit, I think it might be ghost mode. Bro, why is it not starting, fam? So what exactly is ghost mode? We might as well talk about that now. Oi. <laughs> Everything's just a bit mad right now, isn't it? Bro, it's all coming off. Look, we got a fan base there as well. All the lads are at. All right, so talk, talk me through what ghost mode is. So ghost mode is um you have a code on your car. Yeah. And the car won't start unless you do them codes. So like, you press these buttons like a specific way. Okay, so and a lot of people get it done so the car doesn't get robbed or only they can drive the car kind of thing. Okay. So unless you have the code and you can't the engine won't stop. That is a so, mad feature. Mad feature. Most, need... most of the people get the car customized. Yeah. You get a ghost feature. And you need to pay extra for that. Yeah, it's um so when you get customized, yeah, they they like if you wanted your car wrapped or styled or anything. They do it as part of a package. Okay. So all these customized cars, especially up north, like say Manchester, Birmingham, everyone has the car coded. Okay. Oh, well, let's start again. Take three, yeah. Yeah. It's at that time again, where you got to talk about the cars. So start it off. What do you all think? This is a beast motor, isn't it? I don't know how we patterned this for our channel, but um, lovely, lovely piece of work. How does it feel driving? Uh, it's the first time I've driven this car and it sounds naughty. It's overall sporty to the maximum. I'd love to take this to like a car meet or something. Um, I'll chat to the owner and we'll see if we can do a little vlog in the future maybe. Go to a car meet like up um, Birmingham or something. It'll be, it'll, it'll be solid. The motorway, visuals, everything. Um, the head up display in front. I love it as well. Oh, so it's got a head-up display, yeah? yeah? head-up display as well. So you don't even need to look down there at the speed of mirror. You can just look in front of you and it tells you what speed you're going on, which is a cool feature. So do, um, do you think the owner added that on or did it come with the car? It came part of the package. So I think the owner got it from um, a company that actually stalls the car for you. Okay. So he bought it from them, but they stalled, they put this kit on the car and it's solid, solid. And um, what about the steering wheel? Because again, to me, it looks plain. The steering wheel, you've got the M badge. Um, it's quite sporty. You've got the um, paddle shift. Um, it's, the BMW steering wheel, like, as, as I've said before as well, the BMW, they always keep the similar features. Yeah, it's always so dashboard. simple. I heard the new one that they're going to release, the, the new M4, sorry, and uh, maybe the new 4 series as well. Yeah. But I saw a sneak peek, so like someone released the image from inside, and they're finally changing it to a digital dash. Nah. So it's going to be a full screen, but I don't know if that's true. I just got, uh, someone sent me a picture from Germany, I think it was. Because that's it was the thing that image. always puts me off with BMW, their interior yeah. is always, and we mentioned that in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, so I saw always the image. Yeah. I saw the picture and it actually had a full double screen and you know what, it actually looked alright. Well, we I don't know if that's, that's actually, actually gonna happen. confirmed. I don't then. know if that's actually gonna happen though because yeah. BMW are basically that's a that's an attempt to change their whole style. Yeah. Because this has been going on for ages now. Like this is in 1990s. <laughs> They've got the same kind of features, yeah. if you get what I mean. But it gives it a more sporty look, innit? It's not very luxury, but it's, it's not more very luxury. It's, it's good for sport. And yeah. you know what it is? You have people that either like it or they hate it. Yes. And I actually like this classic look on it. Yeah. You know, a lot of companies go for changes and they keep changing on every single car. Yeah. But I actually like the BMW features. I think they look quite cool. Especially the orange. Do you know at night when it's orange and white mix? Yeah. It's, you know, even like the, if you, if you look at the 1990s, same look. And it, it actually bangs for me still. Right, moving on to like the um, multimedia side of the car. Yeah. What have you got to say about it? Um, it's, it's good, you know, because this is a 2016 model. Um, like the navigation, they've updated the to 2019 maps. And then um, you've got your features like uh, Bluetooth, Navi. Um, it's, got, it's got quite a lot of things. And... Um, it's quite simple, like plain, but uh, it, 
some people prefer it, innit? I think I think it's good though. BMW the way the multimedia system works. It's good. You got like USB. Then you can change the um, modes as well, so it tells you. Uh, you have like sport mode. You got comfort, which you casually drive in. You got the Eco Pro as well. I've got Eco Pro. If you want to save your miles, I don't know why you want to do that in this car, <laughs> but yeah. No, I, I, I don't. I think, think bang it in sport, in it. It has to be sport, man. Sport's the only way. See that push all of a sudden. The car just jumped. I know you felt that. Early. Yeah, yeah, I felt that. The phone nearly fell out my hand. Yeah, man. But the grip on this car is. Oof. How do I explain it, man? So you got the gearbox. Flick it. You could change it to manual as well if you wanted. Yeah, so this one, uh, it comes with a Harman card and sound system as well. Customized. If you want to listen to a bit of Siddhu. Oh. This is the car, mate. I'm telling you, it's gonna be lovely. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have a scene at the ending where I'm driving off, yeah? Listen to a bit of Sidhu. That's what I'm gonna make Asian sure fans. I cut all, that out. All, all my Asian fans. I've got Asian fans as well. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out from the video, bro. You got um, heated steering wheel. Oh, it's got heated steering heated wheel. Steering wheel as well. Uh, you got the heated seats as well. Um, yeah, let's talk more about the seats because I'm not gonna lie, these seats look a bit mad. Yeah, these ones are M6 seats. And. Um, if you check the colour of it, just move forward a little bit, let me get that. Yeah, that's mad. Looks wicked. You so what seats are these? Uh, M6 seats. Oh, so they're for the M6? Yeah, they're actually for the M6. So they were specially placed in this car. Okay. And if you see the colour of it, you've got the aluminium touch going on the side as well. Um, lovely leather. Feels so comfortable. And um, it's got heated vents there, isn't it? Yeah, so... Most people might know, do you know when you're driving a convertible and say you're on a motorway or, or you're on a A road kind of thing and you're going at high speed, um, this actually lets out air towards your neck so it doesn't make you feel cold. Yeah, that is absolutely mad. It's wicked. It's got massage seats as well, so it gives you a back massage while you're driving. <laughs> Solid, mate. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, so um, this one, it doesn't come with the pan roof or the sunroof. Um, but one thing it does have Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I think we got the luggage in there Oh, uh, do you know what? Alright, let's put this on hold real quick <laughs> Empty the boot Alright, take two yeah, So, we figured out what it was Sorted Let's try now Oh What's going on here? Yeah, that is mad You know what? One finger, I don't want to drive with the roof down, my hat might fly away. <laughs> but yeah, convertible wise, look at that. Imagine driving to Brighton on a little cruise or driving to Birmingham on a little M40 cruise. <laughs> what oh, is it with man. you driving on motorways? I love driving on motorways. Yes, yes. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe in a bit.